Again. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. And let's push that storm east like a couple hundred miles from where it is right now, folks. It's going east somewhat, but we got to push it out to the ocean so it doesn't hit the east coast at all. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't make assumption. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think. We don't have to say what we want because they assume they're going to know us so well. They, we're going to assume that they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and we think, how could you do that? You should know. Get rid of the uh, gray, folks. Keep it black and white. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 54, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up five and a half, all with light volume. Gold contract down 550, trading at 1333, also with light volume, which is nice. You pull back with light volume, you go higher yesterday with volume. Silver, seven, $17.94, excuse me, folks, $17.94. Platinum, 1,004 an ounce. You get the copper market up two and a half pennies, trading at 315 a pound. Light sweet crude, up 47 cents, trading 40. $9.13 a barrel. Notes. 10-year note, down nine ticks, 127.04. 30-year bond, down 20, 156.12. Now, both notes and bonds, folks, they went to a higher high, had volume at that higher high, backed off it. They're going to be right back up there. King dollar. King dollar up four ticks, all of four ticks. Pretty amazing. King dollar just keeps getting sold down. So king dollar, folks, trade 92.230. Uh, you have the ABC structure on the way down with a price projection of 91.019. The euro is trading 119 to the U.S. dollar. The yen out here is 109 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Guess call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a sideways market. You know, uh, 83 cents inside day from yesterday. Yesterday, we came down at 91 million shares. You went up today with 54 million, still inside the deal. That's setting up that a market wants lower price. You keep coming down on volume, going up with lighter volume. And what has happened, uh, each time that we get a small bounce, uh, it's been quicker on the leg down. Me, and what I mean specifically, I mean the number of days. So it's going to be kind of cool watching how this one shakes out. You know, if we go back to uh, where we were down on August 10th, you know, you come down hard August 10th, you bounce for four days up, you came down uh, hard again on the 17th, went to a lower low. You know, you go sideways for almost two weeks, uh, then what ends up happening, bang, you go right back down yesterday, and we'll see how this thing shakes out, uh, you know, in the next couple of days. Uh, window dressing is over. That's the bottom line. The, N, uh, the QQQ, NDX 100, same type of setup. Q's come down hard yesterday, 45 million shares. Uh, we go up today with 29 million. The small caps, same type of setup inside the small caps. Small caps out here, uh, they come down hard yesterday, come down with 21 million shares, up with 16 today. Gold contract, gold, gold, gold contract pulls back with light volume. Uh, that gold contract looks at it once, thir uh, $13.77. Uh, we hit a price point uh, yesterday out here of uh, $13.49. You did it with 368,000 contracts. You pull back today with two ninety six. dollars Notes and bonds, bottom line. Here. Actually, let's, let's go see. So the 10-year note right now, 2.103. Uh, 2 2.060 uh, we got to today. Um, that, so your 10-year got to a price out here today. Uh, that price was uh, 127.26. Oh, I need, one second, that's the wrong one. Too. We're on the Z contract right now. Okay, so we, we got to 127.18. Uh, we did 1.3 million contracts, good contract volume. Uh, we're at anything over 126.24 brings you in the higher range. What it also does is that it's saying that it wants to go up. 
and test the highs of last November. And last November, uh, that's when the bond market uh, went south, uh, thinking that uh, the interest rates are going to go to the moon because we're going to so spend so much money. Uh, just the opposite happened. Um, long bond. Long bond uh, get up to 157.12 today. And uh, we're at 156.12 now. Uh, staying over 156.06, I believe. 01. 156.01. That's the number you got to keep your eye on. Now, let's go to King Dollar. So, King Dollar, folks, you're, really, you're trading flat out here. You're at 92.235. Uh, King Dollar is down from January 3rd. It's been a one track down from 103. 600, and we're at 92,235. Now, what King Dollar has, and this is where every day it just looks like the probability is higher and higher that this is where we're going with this baby, is that it looks like you're going to go to the highs of the lows, well, no, the highs of 2008 and 2010, you know, because what we've done is that we've really broke the consolidation that we've been in since January of 2015. Since January 2015, you know, the high of that consolidation is approximately 100. We, we hit 103 in January, but let's say it's 100. The bottom of that consolidation is, you know, 92,500. And, you know, we're, we're at 92. We, we tucked underneath it last week. We did it this week. We're still underneath it. That sets up that the first place that you really get some support is the highs of the 2008 low, and as well as the 2009 low. You know, it's the highs of those lows. Now, if we break those, if we get into those levels by like three or four, that, even two or three points, then that is big trouble. That is, that is saying that this dollar is going to get into the 80 price point, and that's quite a hit. You know, when you go from 103 uh, to 80 in the dollar index, that is one big number. And that means that, uh, guess what? If you're going to Europe, if you're going anywhere else, uh, something you might want to consider is come over to our website at TFNN and check out uh, EverBank. They have those foreign currency accounts. There's no fees on those foreign currency accounts. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, if you think you're going to spend five grand, you know, two grand, three grand, whatever you think you're going to spend, or if you just want to diversify a bit, great way to do it. You know, you just swap it out and you're, you're in another currency. Uh, it's a great, it's really a great way of doing it if you have a bill over there, because then you know that the bill's paid, that's it. It doesn't matter what happens with the dollar, it doesn't matter what happens with the currency that you're converting it into. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished. Up 54, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up 6.5. We're going to break back.